Hey, I'm Marvin Ambrosius and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Marv. Yes, this is going to be a very special one, but remember to like, subscribe and click the notification bell for the latest episodes every single week. Now, my next guest, the one and only super producer, Dreddy. Let's go. Hey guys, this is Marvin Ambrosius with 5 Minutes with Marv. I'm here with a very, very, very special guest. I'm going to press some beeps for this one after, but it is Dreddy with me now. What's going on, buddy? You all right? <laughs> I'm chilling, man. Just starting my day because I'm what eight hours behind you guys. Oh. So yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah. you're in that sunny California sunshine, though, right? I'm, I'm not gonna rub it in. Keep going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna start this interview starting right now. So, Dreddy, mm -hmm. how often mm -hmm. do you work out? Every day. Every day. And what type of workouts do you do? Um, Mondays. Well, I have, I have my, so can I go through my set? I oh yeah, my, go, go, go for it. Okay. So Mondays I do uh, chest and triceps okay. and then I end, I end it with like a 30 minute hit workout okay. and then I'll do a, a meditation afterwards. Tuesday I do back and biceps and then I do some type of uh, exercise, some cardio or something like that. Like okay. uh, today, I actually did dance because I wanted to laugh at myself doing these moves. Oh, nice. So what, kind, like what, a, what, kind of dance, what kind of dance was it today? Was it like, what kind of dance? Today dance, was... Contemporary. Today Where did we go? Today was hip-hop and R&B, but I do, I do... Today was hip-hop and R&B, but I do Latin, I do whatever. Like, nice. I, just, I just like laughing at myself. It's funny, like, because I can dance, but I'm not a choreographed dancer. Yeah, actual. I'm the same. I am so. exactly <laughs> the same. I say to people I can dance, right? but I'm not, I'm not a choreographed dancer. Yeah, exactly. And then so Wednesday, I do core and legs. Same thing. I do a fit after that and then a cool down. And then Thursday, shoulders, uh, do another strength exercise after that. And then Friday, I just, I just do hits on Fridays. And then Saturdays, I do more hits or dance, whatever, just something. Sunday's wow. the only day I do like yoga. Okay, like but Johnny, within mm. that whole routine that you've just made for yourself, consistency yeah. is the key. You've been very consistent, yeah. but I want to know, yeah. where's your rest day, bro? My rest day for me is like my yoga day, the Sunday. Like, and, and then Saturday's kind of chilled for me because I don't go all out. I don't go crazy, like get the heart rate going absolutely nuts. I just like to do something, though. I just okay. have to... I just have to do something. So I'll find that the Saturday and Sunday, I kind of, even though the workout might be going crazy, because I use the Apple Fitness thing. Yeah. And even though the workout might be going crazy, I'll take my time. And the yoga is more like stretching and balancing and stuff. So I don't feel that's very like, you know, but an hour and a half a day. I mean, what else are we doing? We can't go outside. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, would you yeah. say that this new routine came in within the COVID pandemic or before where you were a bit lapsed on your workouts? Or is this No, I've been I've been doing this for like we're coming up to probably about nine years now. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, good. Um, so that. yeah, so I'd go to the gym Monday to Friday. And you know, but when the, the COVID hit, I had to figure it out. So I got like resistance bands for my strength yeah. workouts. And then I got like a push up board and then, you know, the stomach roller thing. Yeah. And, and then I just do cardio, like whatever. I, I used to go for a walk. And then when that Apple Fitness thing came in, I was like, this is perfect. So I just started to do that. Okay, don't worry, I'll be sending you some other stuff from me to do. Don't worry, I'll get you. Listen, <laughs> I, I've seen one clip of your workout and I carried on swiping like, no. Nope. Oh, man, this dude swiping nope. me out. That's just a, man I'm like, no. Nope. Man did me on a Tinder workout. That's what he did. <laughs> no, there was too much. I was like, burpees into a what? Nope. He was like, like no, I'm my feet with it. Wait, wait, moving on to like where we are in now. We're from obviously from mm -hmm. the same generation, same era where we made music or anything that we were doing. We had to go mm -hmm. into a label or a pirate radio station to hopefully play it. Now let's right. reverse that into social media as in our personalities <sighs> and who we are individually and body image. Now, did you mm -hmm. ever think at any point that you being seen was just as important as people seeing your music? And do you feel that your image mm -hmm and your portrayal of yourself is something that you're thinking mm. about constantly, or do you just go, I'm dready and that's it? Um, yes and no. So okay. like, yes to being seen, because I wanted people to put a face to the, the music. Even though I didn't really like being in front of the camera, I was good at being in front of the camera. Yes, you were, so I guess you are. In the, <laughs> in the beginning, so like with all the so solid stuff and every song I produced, if there was a video and I produced a song, yeah. nine times out of 10, 
I would be in the video as like, so people can put the two and two together because that just evaluates to more work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And stuff like that. In terms of image, I'm just me. I don't really be like, I'm not, uh, oh, let me do this and this will regenerate my image and re nah. I'm just me, I just like to have fun and I like to kind of portray that over on camera. And that's as far as I would go. And then obviously strategically, I'd probably just fall back a little bit and yeah. just chill out and whatever. But then I'm back in the mix again. So I know how to, you know, maneuver it and, you know, whatever. Okay. Well, and mm. last but not least, because these interviews go real quick. We get a little yeah, yeah. bit of information, but enough to know that consistency right. is key. I need to yes. know now, this is going to be difficult for you, actually. It might not be. What is your go-to workout song? You can't name any of your own because you've got loads. Go-to workout song? I don't listen to music when I work out. You're the second I, one that said that. Like, yeah, I don't. The only time I said that is what? She listens to podcasts. I'm like, wow. I listen to podcasts. I listen to podcasts. What, I listen what? to Chucky online. Yeah. Or I, uh, the Half Cast podcast, or I listen to Joe Budden. One of the two. It's only when I go into, since the Apple Fitness thing came in, yeah. I would, um, you know, they, they have their own music and playlists yeah. and, and whatever. But when I was in the gym, because my cardio used to be bike. So yeah. when I was in the gym, I just keep the podcast going. Or if I had to listen to a mix of a song I'd done, I might put that on. But 90% yeah. of the time it's podcasts. Okay, I get so too distracted. I'll be, I'll be like, yo, that snare's not right. On the... And then it would just throw me off completely. And you'd be so... like, I need to get back in the studio. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back now. in. Yeah, no, I get it. that. I get that. It's a focus. But you know what? I can't thank yeah. you enough for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. No problem, it. man. Thank you so much, guys. See me for next week's episode of 5 Minutes with Marv Dreddy. Shout out. Thanks, bro. Peace, bro. <laughs> Are you sure about that 5 Minutes?